Yeah, and um, you, you, your Bob Tur called you to tell you that he was transitioning when you were covering the the Boston Marathon bombing in in 2013. Um, folks can read how that call went, but I want to keep going on um, your father's lack of willingness to take responsibility. Um, for what happened during your childhood, um, you you tried to you tried to talk about your childhood with with Zoe, but you write, quote, it felt like my dad was using a get out of gender free card I didn't know existed. Why do you think Zoe Tur won't take responsibility for what Bob Tur did? I think because she's ashamed and she said as much, um, she said so in the documentary about her life at the end of it, she's ashamed for what she did and she regrets it. Um, and I think it's hard to confront the, the, the bad things that any, any, I mean, if I, if, if it were me, it would be hard for me to confront it. Um, and I, I empathize with that, but I also know that, you know, as a mother myself, you have to confront the things that are hard and uncomfortable in order to move past them to to gain an understanding of them and to and to break that cycle i mean it's the same for our country we've mm -hmm. got to confront the ugly parts of our past we can't just bury them or pretend they didn't happen we have to confront them to move on and, and be a better country same thing with relationships and you know while that was a real pivotal moment in my life what i was finding and this is you know part of what started to click for me over the pandemic was that we're also faced in a you know really pivotal moment in in the world and a pivotal moment for journalism in general the way that we are able to speak to people what we are able to to tell people how we are able to educate people it's broken right now Jonathan I know you know this and I think the the Jan January 6th insurrection and all that we are witnessing now during these hearings is exemplifying um, an astounding failure of this country to to come together on basic facts, an astounding failure of one man who happened to be president to accept the truth. But also, I wonder if we're going to look at ourselves as journalists, isn't it also an astounding failure of our ability to communicate? 